this lower bracket final are Team Liquid, led by the legend Kuroki. They have four previous TI champions on the roster. One of the most successful teams in Dota 2 history, but still without an Aegis. Last year's runners-up, PSG LGD, come out to the familiar chance of the crowd and are now finding themselves just one step away. Counter right yep. there. All of a sudden, PSG LGD, they've got this excellent team fight. This is one of the more balanced drafts I've yeah. seen so far on the main stage. This is going to be great. The Tinker, it can outscale LGD or uh, Liquid's heroes as well. And they have both the Spectre and the Gyro to go into the late game. Koro is going to say hi in the mid. The arrow is going to fly forward. Perfect stun. We're already beginning our lower bracket final right here with the max stun duration. Charles will go down. Weehar is able to laser him. Trying to go for this hand of Midas build on the spec. Understanding late game is the game for LGD. In lane mid lane. Into arrow. Yeah, there's that combination. FY can't stand against it. Now ET and Somnus looking for their fight as well on mind control. He'll get his avalanche toss once again, but three heroes together. I need to check the trees. Spirit in there every single time. Making sure there's no hidden tinker, there's no heavy march machines. Even a quick sentry ward being dropped down. No invisories, no shenanigans. Kuro Charles just jumps in. Mike Charles gets the back line. The arrow flies forward. It won't hit onto the hero, however. This will be LGD under the tier two tower with the ET splitter killing off Mike Control. And they found Weeha in the tree line. Hex Nova, he's still staying close with the Stampede. They try and get closer. The face is void. They throw him back. At least get the one man stun. But Miracle chasing down Hex Nova inside the tree. FY is nearby. He actually stole Rearm out of all of this. And he'll just TP away to safety. And Somnus trying to. Looks like trying to set up a bait. He's going to run up to the high ground and get caught on purpose, but... Well, Avalanche Toss actually sending him back inside the bench, but not exactly what they wanted, but the five-second arrow will connect on Somnus. But this just allows Liquid to disengage, or does it? Stampede forward, Moonlight Shattered now, burned by Team Liquid. As they turn around to come back once more, Miracle adds Chronosphere up. And they're looking for a target. They find the other Titan, perch him up with the time locks. My lord, that damage. They didn't have to burn the Chronosphere, but Mind Control, Avalanche, Toss, FY, too far away. He's actually he's all the time on Miracle. He gets a double Chronosphere. Charles and Rubik, both caught in it. Somers needs to create a little bit more space with the corner. He might be able to do so. Miracle, time walks back up, cooldown once again. Petrol Horn jumping around. Who's he focusing on? He looked for his target, but the time walk away got Miracle away to safety, but Somers can at least reach over towards Kuro with that Black Cannon. Spell Steel coming out. He's, he's got time walk him. again. That's a good initiation. And as we saw her escape from FY before. And look how confident Chalice yeah. is. Maybe a bit too much here. Disruption, catcher. The arrow is going to connect as well. Perfect stun. They're going to force off him down. That's FY hanging in the neighborhood of Miracle. It's a double chronosphere. Mind control. Ready with the avalanche. He's walked inside the chronosphere. He's done himself up. And maybe they don't have the damage anymore. And Somnus is in the back line. He'll end up killing Akura, the first casualty of this team fight. And the chronosphere. Stolen. Of course it is. FY is playing around Weeha. He caught the big man. And maybe with the avalanche toss from Mind Control. Charles and Thomas in some trouble. Tinker going to buy back into this fight. He knows he needs to do some more damage. Charles is still trying to go ham against Mind Control. Mind Control doesn't have the life for this. Maybe with a toss-up, he can push Charles away. But where is this control? You bought back Weeha, but they can't stay on top of him. There is no way they could get this. They don't have the damage. When this Elder Titan Spirit starts countering them out, they're giving it a shot. They have the 30-second window. Time walk away. Miracle, he'll dodge the stomp. Ame's throwing out the dagger, and now hoofs on forward, a four star from GH trying to get Kuro away to safety. He's in close, Miracle trying to storm down with a time dilation, but Kuro's already gone down. LGD's arrived, but man, Miracle's done all the hard work for him. Now Roshan, he has to be uh -oh. contested by LGD. That's really bad news for Liquid. They don't have Chrono for this fight. Good arrow. Oh, five Dude. seconds on the arrow. It's gonna maybe make LGD think twice. They need Tinker behind to put down Martian Machines inside the pit. They need some cover fire to dissuade LGD from being here. Mind Control, he'll go for the Avalanche shot. He didn't have information, the road shot. He thought it was probably a lot lower. Arrow, five seconds again over on Chalice. Mind Control, another quick toss. He's gotta get out of there. There's those Martian Machines for Road Shot. Miracle's jump back in again. Road shot. he goes to the radius. Miracle has the Angus, the Immortal. Now trying to battle. BKB, it's such a low duration miracle, keeps getting time lock after time lock. He is the master of time, and they arrow another five seconds. They just keep on coming. Mind control hits the avalanche center. The stampede on 88 feet. He'll go up the hill and flicks the one to try. LGD, the disengaging, but they want more. We have, he split the top of the shrine. The chainsaws are going to be there. They're arranged in the century wall. That's why they can see them inside the moonlight shadow. F5, he tries to hit this entire team. Stop the clock, but the Angus will pop. So will we have left? It's a 
two heroes, one of which was the the miracle boy going for the chrono on mind control. He went too far. He just tried to push the lane out. He tried to create space. And LTD, they get a bonus in their gift bag. But look at this presence from LTD. They understand they need to get the vision. Here we go. Miracle. He jumps in. Homing Missile's going to come his way. He's going to BKB instantly. F1. going to jump himself away as quick as he possibly can with a time walk stolen. He just moves away from the BKB. Miracle. And the Hostile catching Kuro on the back line with the special hot. Kuro instantly explodes. My control GH trying to get the hell out of here. Miracle is now the time to actually Chronosphere. The Homing Missiles are coming in. They're surrounded on all sides trying to TP away to safety. Tiny's weighing this one out. Inside the pocket ball. The South Pole will come down with my control. Cancel the TP because f gets in range for the Tusk needs its grab. They've already taken GH. My control will do as much damage as he can before death. But LGD, they were the ones meant to be initiated on that fight. But Liquid, they just, they never saw the opportunity and they never wanted to take it. They found the worst possible target. They found an Elder Titan completely on his own. They can't stop oh, this, on this, on that. We are! He's gonna go down! Miracle trying to crown to save his life! Tom is protected by the BKB! Miracle needs lock and lock and a lock! And he'll bring down Sonda! A huge streak to end! Hundred <laughs> gold! He's rich! At 1,500, now zero! It's all LGD and FY! He jumps up! He goes towards GH! Sentry Wolf's vision! They have to! GH is gonna go down! Down for a minute! Miracle! He jumped on towards the front line too! He's looking for a kill of his own, but what's he got? FY! He actually just turns them around! Miracle! Triggers the strike! BKB TP's away to safety! Kuro! He does not want to die again! Eight is enough for the moment, but I think it might be a nine! He's moving back towards the base! Mind control! He's creating a little bit of extra space as LGD! Think about coming up! Chalice! He won't just think about it! He'll do it! Now with the volley! Chalice! We'll see how much he can take or take! Oh Hell of a lot! Oh, actually put him down! There was no volley! A double hooks up! A double double edge! And they'll just keep going ham! Underneath the tier threes! Towards the tier four! If they kill the boy, he'll have to fight back! If they want to defend this top leader, Brax! Liquid! They're on the burning ropes right now! Weehar is doing everything he can to slow down this push. But LGD, they look like immortals. The thing they really want to claim to. Looks like Liquid are just going to concede these barracks. This void buyback is way too important. It's more important than the barracks. There's no mid lane for them to take yet because the tier 2 is still there. They're trying. So LGD will back Are they? Up. Okay. Avalanche, can they toss it back over? There's already a pickup. FY's got the range, he's got the arrow, and mind control connected on all fronts. And when the hostile GS jumps in, a little too deep, the laser couldn't protect him. Chalice finds that kill. Arrow. Yep, able to connect, but then again, stolen it. Chalice jumps himself forward. The defensive destruction actually going to dodge all the abilities and the Storm Sleep. Allowing Miracle just to time walk himself away. And they really, Chalice is like, please, please, hit me. I want it. The arrow, a little bit too late. The chrono speed does come down. Combining with the volley. Mind control from inside the tree line. They get through the Centaur. That's one upside for them. And tossing back the Spectre under the tier three towers with another avalanche. They keep the control over on Arme. X Nova wants to put them to sleep and create a little bit more space. Arrow. Yeah, they get another one. Get out. Arme's waiting without the Aegis. They actually get this regeneration burn off as well, but the hand of Black Cannon. Gyrocopter hits Kuro down hard, put him on the time dilation with the laser. Sonos can't attack the Dago. And like what are doing it. They're breaking through the heroes. Rubik as well. You can take on yourself, Tinker, but now with the tree top, one more flying out. F1. 49 HP is getting away. The arrow's too far off, too. The Shadow Poison. Will that clip it? It does, but he's got 100 HP. It'll lose all up in a glimmer cape as well. They're trying to find him. FY playing up the dome vision. Weehar's here, but he sees nothing. Now he'll see the Rubik. They got him down. And Team Liquid, they fight back for the first time in 20 minutes. Team Liquid have the uh, Observer and Sentry up on the hill. They're going to smoke up. They see Somnus. They'd love to go on him. Chalice is right behind him. Here's your Avalanche toss, but then Somnus moves away. Chalice, he holds up the back line. He's almost killed Kuro. In fact, he has done so by control so long as well. Somnus, now the Chronosphere, and caught the Gyrocopter for Miracle. He has to kill him in here. Arrow's flying in with the ETs, but a Miracle can't finish the job. He can't get the damage out. Buyback's already come in from Tiny. The Moonlight's trying to... They're trying to escape. GG will the Sentry Ward. FY's wanting to stick around with him, while the rest of LGD run forward. Chasing Miracle, the Hoping Missile is after him. 
GH has finally gone down to FY. It's also stunning Miracle while he's chrono because of the side gunner. It's 1.5 seconds. Oh, Miracle, Can Miracle. What are you doing here? Time walk away. As uh -oh. quick as he possibly can, but someone yeah, has a blink dagger. And now Miracle, BKB versus BKB. No chronosphere available for either side. Miracle will just time walk up the damage. Finish the TV out. He's gone. FY. He catches him. And Miracle has got another time walk available. But the stun the back from Solomon. He's able to connect. Miracle's down. He can reset the count with a buyback challenge. He's already in the tier 3 towers. But he's kind of by himself. A very, very deep in. Catcher in Persian. Weehan needs a little bit more damage to bring him down. Remember, he's got the Agassi Mortal. He just wants to claim this tier three tower by himself. He's consumed the Aghanim Scepter to free up the space. Arme will complete by killing off the tower. Refresher shard, nullifier, spectral horn, everything's gonna be up for Arme in just a second. And this time, I don't think Miracle can hold the buyback. Goes for the destruction. One shot trying to give him a little bit more time. The arrow is going to be soaked up by the illusion. Kuro is dead. No buyback available for him. The melee ranks are taken. Army going out to the bottom. We how want to stay on it, but do they have enough? Mind control bleeps off cooldown in just a second. He throws out the volley that the spectral dagger, the push is just too fast to wait. Here comes Charles once again. Hey, would you mind giving me a charge? Spectral Hunt will get it to the front lines no matter what. This is just side lane pressure being applied against Team Liquid. Chalice with the Aegis, pass a long way in. I love the leap, getting him deep underneath the tier four towers. They're trying to break free him, and maybe they have enough with the volley as well. Mind Control, here he's got trees to work with. They break the Aegis Immortal. Armies in very deep, also at the tier four towers. All three homing missiles to connect on faces void. Fortifications buying time for Team Liquid. Even the Creep Wave is standing its ground. Chrono Spear, you can see Miracle. He's trying to get closer. They have Sentry Wards down, however, they see him. And he chronos the back line, the gyrocopter dying quickly, but the fence of destruction! Are you kidding me? FY! is just creating so much space to allow Sponsors to rip into Team Liquid! Two on the big pawns down the solid chrono! Why not? FY! That's the game, everyone's going down, and no one's getting up from this! LGD! They have just punched themselves! Game one win! against Team Liquid. They'll do it the old-fashioned way. Liquid are making it work for it. And but there it is, GG. LGD in 52 minutes are able to fight up against Liquid. Dude, it was so fucking good. <laughs> so good. Oh. What a crazy game. If that sure, disruption sure. didn't hit, Thomas was dead, they wouldn't have had the damage. We would have kept going. And this hero needs to output the damage. And there oh, you go, oh, the lane count, oh, the last pick, Cheese wow. Huskar. One you, of my favorites. You talk about a 22 pick, all right? Like, this is... <laughs> this is hustle and jam, baby. You know, both disarm the Sven and the TA before they get their BKBs with that inner fire. So the matchup is, uh, has become more interesting, I would say, than it used to be. But I would still say I'm expecting Somnus to absolutely win the lane. And then it's just about how hard he wins and what we have to do about it. I still want to keep my eyes very closely up on this top lane. Mind control. Goal! And he actually splits Liquid with the stun, but FY still gets the room. But the burn damage from the Iron Shell and the range damage from GH is enough to get the kill. Miracle doesn't see him. If he runs up this lane, he's totally dead. He has to get back behind the T1 tower right now. I think Kuro might have got a glimpse of him. And yep, they definitely see him now. Kuro cannot have enough time to get the stomp off a Miracle to the trees and the TP. They stampede LGD, chasing Miracle down. He needs to open a storm hammer too, and then begin the TP out to safety. Is there a stun? There is not! Miracle! The burning spears will not be enough damage to kill him. Where you need levels in vacuum, and you're ideally once Here we go. Arme walks straight in to pick him up, throw him down, and pick up the damage output. Yes, they do. Dead for 30 seconds without buyback available. No stampede, though. We don't really want to finish this, but because he's overstayed his welcome, Chalice pounces with X Nova. They put him down. FY doesn't have the mana for a finger, but now he does. <laughs> But it always we feels like FY is setting up hard. everything. He comes again with the Hex and the stun. That refraction won't protect him. X Nova, the perfect chain stun with the ice. Path and Weehaw, refraction, meld, still sits and burns.
No TA for 25. TH is trying to reach the Jakira, but it feels like Xnova is playing just close enough but far enough away. Sphinx has a full halberd. Sven can't even fight into him unless they get a perfect combo. Here comes the ET Spirit. GH, what's well, he got? Stampede forward. He only got Mantra now. The line, not what he was searching for. The Ice Pump, not in the best position, but with a finger of death, it won't matter. Rubik can buy back into the game. Roshan down at 3.2k. TA's up in two seconds' time with that Blink Dagger. It's quite possible to contest for Roshan. But do they have enough with the surging forward of the Dark Sea? No, it's just Arme. He's creating space, allowing him to go in for Roshan. But Huskar hasn't finished the job. Roshan's coming out of the pit. He can't be attacked there. They jump in the double set with a clean damage. They've already gone through two. Santor and Shakira will fall. Miracle wants to finish Roshan with that glass frame. Stop the trying to push him back. Ego Seabottle is in the hands of Miracle, just like game one. But this time around, LGD may not be able to get out of the pit. They create some copies. Challenge comes in close. A great double hot stop. More space being great. Makura. He brings in a lot of damage himself with the storm balls. They're able to just keep Chalice in position. Huskar's already down. TA refusing to fight back. Kuro trying to run back out this one. Miracle back to life face the Aegis the Immortal. Maybe in no man's land. As it is daytime, they see FY quite clearly, put him to sleep, and then jump, but Charles is coming in, he's got a surprise, package delivery for Team Liquid, will you receive, they will, Miracle, the damage is so huge, but then he turns around with his own cleave damage, trying to bring down the Centaur, with the Dark Sea Wall, the Ice Pass, Xnova, everyone just stops and looks at each other, frozen to the bone, but now Huska jumps forward, over towards Kuro, looking for his own fight, but GH, he's killed off Chalice, they want the other one, they want Life Stealer, the Storm Army, on almost no life, now turns to Weeha, TA Trap will trigger again, a quick blink away. But he's still sitting behind the tower. The rest of LGD smoked up, moving in. The Storm Hammer is already over with a crisscrossing of the Ice Pass. Thomas will jump forward. Miracle, he needs protection. Having the damage against Thomas and the pickup. They catch out the Shakira. The Ice Pass will be removed by Weeha. No striking down next Nova. Armin's going to walk up the hill to put that BKP to use while the initiation. The She has to run away. The BKB cannot protect her. The last attack from a lion. How many times must Liquid smoke underneath this? And look what LGD do. It's like, oh, we'll sit underneath our observer in Sentry. You take our side of the map and we'll take yours. Dyer, well, the courier. We'll get snipers that moves over the top of the Templar Assassin. Revealing the fact there is the DD, but the observer in Sentry. Someone needs to drop something right now. They drop two, well, yeah, observer sentry down, but that's just scouted up by the other ops. Here. Sent off, hooked up, oh, Chalice! He blindly went into the trees, they thought he was in there, he was for a moment, now to pick up and throw down, it looks like Liquid are uncertain if they really want to have this fight. Weeha is the back line, looking for Xnova as well as FY, he's able to actually keep them control and actually get the kill on FY, thanks to the stop, Jakura is actually asleep in the trees, Miracle's trying to come through, the TA trap will get the reveal, Xnova, Miracle actually dodging at least the ice path with the finger from FY, Needs to go back into the top. Ame's protected by the rage, so he's fine. There is the risk of Chalice dying again. Here comes LGD. The infest is inside the centaur. Chalice will be the sacrificial one. Rubik is just waiting on the edge. GH has blinked that revival. And Miracle, well, already hit. Somnus attacked over on the side. Centaur, you got a quick steal. What's going to be Ice Path? No, it's going to be dual breath only. LGD. So pressured around Roshan, that even Roshan fighting against him. The clap is like, would you mind not fighting on my doorstep? Get off my lawn. The stomp, it won't connect properly. Macropyre is down. Roshan, 1.5k. If, uh, if Liquid are going to jump, they're going to jump down. The TA trap gives the information. Oh, the Dyer, has actually got the Aegis, the Immortal. The back pull them away, but GH, here's your crap. They get the stun. LGD, Aegis and Cheese. They also have this insane life stealer to be the front liner. Miracle is waiting up the hill. Surge him to get him away. They start the damage over into Solnus. As you said, without the Goldstrike, they have to work a little bit harder to get the early damage in. Solnus stands his ground, pushes him back. There's another disarm. Arme, they take the tier three tower. Solnus is low. Arme is close. The Mel Strike will also connect. Low on armor, but Solnus still stands his ground. There goes your melee rack. You see just how ineffective Liquid are until they pull him back with a back. Under a bit. Holy shit! Chalice! He gets the jump with a ball on Ice Pass! Liquid totally caught out! Solnus is low, but he's still got the Aegis! They haven't burned! The BKB protects the four star FY! He just grabs Solnus, pulls him away. I got your back, and here we go! A reinsert, the Storm Ball, the three men stop with the ET Splitter. Miracle needs to hit, and now he can do so. Two heroes down, Sentinel dead for a long time, but Arme will still stand his ground. He doesn't have the Aegis Immortal, but that's why you got.
Moses. He all comes back to life again. And we uh, win your extra damage. Now he buys back the Bell Strike. How much dodge have they got? Double force up. The support oh from LGD God, working so well for Team Liquid. They need to hunt a little bit more. Sunders puts them away. They have the damage from range. LGD, you do take the mid lane of Rax. They are very well set up if you watch up on the high ground here. Milk Bash. Well, pick him up, throw him down, connect with the stuns, and the back. G8 was he able to steal? It's gonna be the ice bar. Buyback came in so quickly from the life stealer. Send the clone out. F1 can get rid of that quickly. The ET stop maybe a little too early from Kuro. Doesn't slow down the wave. But pick up Somnus. Throw him away into the wall. And then the follow up ice path. Fortification has to be used to try and dissuade our main. As he did burn the rage, but Somnus has the cheese. He's quite happy to stand the front lines as long as they can't chain stun him. Here's your ice pass to begin. And you got Miracle with Stormhammer, but Chalice staying close. He doesn't have any retaliate stacks up, but he gets the hooks off over on Miracle. Do they want to jump in a little bit deeper? The ice pass, once again, this one's from X Nova, and then the chain back. Chalice, he's in way too deep once more. They bring him down. The rags are still going to fall. Somnus taking care of that as Centaur will buy back into the game. He's walking his way forward, but Somnus caught a little bit too far around the back. But he never got the cheese off. Team Liquid have still lost a lane of Rax. X Nova protects himself inside the Ghost Scepter. We are once more. He'll jump forward towards FY, protected by the Ghost Scepter. He actually stopped the Meld attack from connecting, but now into the trees. He gets his quick stun off, but GH has the range. He'll grab him, he'll control him, and FY will fall on this Ben. A 3.2k surplus. <laughs> The wraparound behind, Observer and Sentry are there, the smoke will break instantly, reaction, GH blinks to the other side, a quick pickup over on the Husker, gives himself a double stump, but they do not want to fight this one, still liquid, Roshan is still the primary objective, LGD, no though, vision up on the high ground, Sven, protected by the Lotus Orb, lets him be on the front lines, but they found their target, Weeha on the other side of Roshan, instantly exploded by the finger of death with FY, it was banged up, but now the TP come forward, Summers is too far up, he has the cheese, he has the Titanic, they just need to keep control, but the e blade protects him with the charge, they move themselves further away from the easy split of a miracle. Where's your damage? Charles with another double hook up, delivering in the life stealer. Will feed through Koro. The fate ball control. Huskar goes down as well. They're still battling underneath the shrine. Darkseer, you need a little bit more life for this, but the wall, they actually get a good couple of copies. But where is your extra attack? The fate ball in the center. The follow up stun is there from GH and the ice bar. He can just chain this control over on the center. They're waiting it out as long as the sleep will last. Sentinel forced up up the still inside the ice bar. Jakira pick up throw back down again. Another two men done, combining with the storm hammer. Liquid, the are able to just continue to chain Miracle. He needs to attack GH, it's the control zone. The triple kill for Miracle. The Mika is split down from FY. Maybe they get a little bit more. They want the chase, dodge him forward. Army, FY, the ice bar just an inch away from him. But GH will bring himself forward. The rest of LGD, they've returned towards the fight. Now the storm hammer, Miracle catches two. They need to see him, however. FY, he's the primary target. The ice bar from GH, he controls the life for the moment. Get rid of that pesky little demon. They move over now. Chalice still on the run, but only the sentry ward. Chalice will go down. Three heroes without buyback. He's actually beating into the liquid base. Liquid want to push. They don't want to have to be coming back right now. But he's going to start beating in the tier four towers with the double damage rate. He is quite a problem. Still has the BKB with the rage. Army is trying to do the solo. They'll take the first tier four tower. He'll look for the second. TP's are coming back. He'll rage. He'll try and TP out. He's on a way. Now with the BKB, he can't actually hear. He has to wait. There's your stun. Now they need the damage kill. Army, you fell into a creep. The ice bar, it's good control from X Nova. They need to actually bring this down. The fortress, the ancient, is finally going to die. GG is called. Black White have done it. 59 minutes. They push back against LGD. And boss has a deciding game for the TI9 Grand Final. Final slot against OG. It's really good against everything but the tide. It lanes well. Okay, we go for the dark here. All right. He paid respect to Miracle there. He was worried about getting run down. Okay, Here's your blast again. again. You have the Ether Shock. Heavy amount of damage. Chalice, low on life this time around. He's not playing a hero with a huge stomp. He's got a hero with a huge Shit, amount of damage. damage. X Nova just stands his ground and wants to keep fighting. Ether Shock's coming off cooldown in a second. Chalice hanging around, but Miracle, he's got another Rage Fire Blast to work with. And X Nova will be brought down. Miracle in the safe lane. Chalice, I'm seeing Shackles available because the stomp's been used by X Nova. Miracle can come over as well. He'll create the army of the minions, and Chalice wants to surge himself away. But it's already too late. Miracle finds the kill. There's a huge army coming his way too. Kuro, no other control, but down on bottom lane. The Tidehunter will go down as well. Is there another stun? There is. Miracle. 
chalks up another one. If you get caught by stuns, you don't really get to stand and deliver, so you're kind of... You'd rather be a little bit on the outskirts of the fight, throwing raises and casting spells. They're going up to FY, the shackles are out. Just hold him, hold him, and I'll kill him. Weeha. Four points up in the Mortal Strike. He's looking for a little bit more. Look how aggressive Kuro is getting. He's like, I have two Observer Wars. How do we feel about this game? I feel like I can put an Observer Ward between the Tier 2 and Tier 3 tower. That's how I feel about this game. And then he dodges the Sentry Ward that FY throws down to get rid of the TA traps. Chrono catching out to TP support. Where is it going to come? Army does beating into Weeha, but Refraction Charges are up. You've already got the kill over the Winter Wine, but GH is down for the moment. But Army with no Chronosphere. Maybe the Sun can buy a little bit more space. Liquid, they're moving out to the East for Mind Control. Four, five, man, Ravage. He hits the whole kit and convertible as LGD. Army has a time walk himself away. They're back up to the Tier 1 tower, but they all get hit by the side blade. Now you're right by Blast. Over was F Flight. He was going to be searched away to try and save him. The stop. Everyone goes back napping again as X Nova runs north. He was the culprit of the mass sleep of Liquid. The Weeha wants to go back in again. Oh, Arme, he's wrapping a river. <laughs> They've both got fantastic dance taunts. Yeah, you just spit on the spot, boys. Now, Chronosphere caught the nice target. Weeha in the back line. Ravage, however, from Mind Control. Creates space and Weeha turns on the Arme. Kills him off so quickly. They can break five blasts on the challenge. He's got nothing more to give. Surge is coming off cooldown. The Hex, the mass server boss. Kuro trapped him off. What goes on? It's going to be the Shackle. The curse. They're killing off Zomnus, unwillingly with the anchor pass from Mind Control. All the damage is gone from Liquid, it's all there from Liquid. FY will fall. Absolutely, LGD are in a really, really good position here. They're going to try to go for Mind Control. Maybe they can get this with the three heroes. Wind up, let it go! The curse! GH was there! He'll stop the ball, they'll beat the end. Mind Control hit the Ravage, and everyone has arrived! Team Liquid! <laughs> And you know you can fight without Ravage right now. This could be a possible opportunity. SF has a decent amount of souls. Liquid just going to go high ground right now. Yep, Master up here. down from Kuro. The push on bottom lane, you don't fear it, but now you may have to. Somnus, how much damage can you get out? Miracle already starts over on the phases void. The stomp is good. Is there going to be any kind of split to follow this up? For the moment, Weeha trapped on the sidelines. They take out the tier three tower, maybe getting away. A time dilation, Weeha, the cold embrace from GH. He'll hug his core close, but it's still not enough to stop the agency mortal from going, but the ET splitter very much off target. Miracle's ready to go again. He's looking to jump into the back lines, but Templar has never got the shields up. The curse is out, faceless void with the anchor smash. Actually, it's maybe it's up with a gun. Reduce the armor, so Arme falls down. Bounty rune fight. Liquid are coming under the cover of smoke. FY is coming out for rune control. It's almost a little bit closer. Oh, FY, fantastic grab. Throws it back with the rapid bear from my control. Clipping over on three. The dark you can't help. With the immortal. Drop the observe ward. That won't last long. But whoever comes out, <laughs> they know. All right, can I get this? No, I can die. The Ravage will connect. Three heroes caught. Instant dead for Ame. And instant buyback as well. The Mass Serpent wants to be triggered. All of this for a dire Observe War, which not only now gets Quelling Blade down. Chalice back, ball, able to catch up to the ET Stop as well, getting good control. But the Curse, Shadow Feet, trapped inside this wall for the moment. Weeha picking up the back lines. Now, Somers, so much of that BKB was wasted by the Curse that Weeha and Mind Control, they're all jumping in. The Chrono, it's huge. It's called out three with the ET Splitter. Ame needs more damage out for the main. to the Immortal. Four must be gathered from LGD to defend this base. But Liquid, keep on fighting, keep on pushing. The jump forward, the back back into the wall. Kuro's gonna be careful, he's dropping low. Same with Weeha, doesn't have the Agency model this time. Chalice eats a shot from Kuro, will kill him off. But the revenge is there, Weeha will fall. And Liquid, have you overcommitted right now? Miracle's trying to run out of here. The split the blast, it's good damage, you'll slow him down. Reincarnation comes, Kuro's trying to get back in. The Angus smash with the wind up. It's good damage, as well as the sleep. But now Miracle, has he got enough? Five heroes, Charles is back to the front lines. Liquid, they're on the ropes, they're running out of here. You've got finally a death, but a softness killed off by Mind Control. Miracle will finally be brought down when the Angus match for Mind Control. He thinks about fighting a little longer. G8, this fight's gone so long, the Kuro has not only fought back, he managed to walk his way back into the fight with the shackles. Armin's held, FY. He's actually able to help create the space, but it's the Dark Seer doing it. Chalice. Splinter Blast flies, the mech charges back up once more, but so is the curse from GH. Without the TA and the Raking, it does feel like this push is dead from Liquid, but they still want to keep on fighting anyway. They are so far ahead, they have all the map control, and the onus is on LGD to do something. And maybe not, Miracle 
He jumps in. Somnus explodes. You thought Liquid were gone. You thought you could breathe for a second. Now SF's down and he has buyback available. And if he doesn't commit it, they're up against Megas. Even if he does commit it, they're probably up against Megas. But it's 35 minute bounty rooms. There's more money to be had. Maybe they can get a kill over on Koro. Back back in again. Chronosphere's available. The Hex over on Chalice. Curse is out from GH. Space be created. But remember, Mind Control. He wants to try and find Sonus for Seth. He'll just get the huge ravage. The boy's already down. Dark Gear is trapped. The mech is up, but he's already down. As Miracle stares into Charles's eyes and just ends it. Arme wants something back. We are able to actually now be cronied up. PKP trying to protect him. GH doesn't have that save. Been through the Winter's Curse, but he's gone through the Cold Embrace. We are can just blink away. Perfectly timed on the refraction. Miracle jumps in, kills that boy. Is there a bottle? There's not. Amy, Ame's already gone, and gone down. Two heroes in the long range shackle. Kuro from the hill. X Nova can't move anywhere. FY's trying to get the big chase done, but they're just buying back now LGD. They're throwing corpses at Team Liquid, trying to repel them out of their base and keep the TI9 hopes alive. As the Raxes, they will all go down. The Megas will come up from Liquid. And LGD without Chrono, without Darkseer, SF without a soul. They have to try and push back Team Liquid with the mass of Moors down. The jump comes in. We've got a huge melt damage. Saunders, he's going to fall. That should be the game right there. GG. Team Liquid win against LGD. They have dropped one game in this entire lower bracket. It was in this series. But they fight back and get to the second TI Grand Final. What a game to end it on for Liquid. They just played amazingly this game. I love the draft. The Wraith King pick was fantastic. It mm -hmm. did everything it needed to do. They played the lanes well. They played the fights well. And LGD, they drafted something that was just too complicated in this game. 